Seven Knife People, back again with more of these knives. We're gonna start off with a quick look at this Spyderco Delica in carbon fiber, flat carbon fiber scales, Hat 40 steel with an aftermarket lynch clip. Made in Seki City, Japan. Again, just a cool EDC. This one's nice and hefty, it has the stainless steel liners. And that's it. So we're gonna get into some more carbon fiber knives today. Uh, no unboxing. So we're just gonna do a little filler here and just show you some, just kind of show and tell, show you uh, the carbon fiber knives I have in my collection. And we'll go from there. So hopefully everybody's doing good. Thank you guys for tuning in. And as always, um, hope you're doing good. So again, we'll kind of give it a little close up here with that. That's the Delica carbon fiber. Pretty nice. That's the backside again. This will be the first in the collection that I'll show you. Again, just an overall good EDC. That's it. This is the Delica carbon fiber. This is the Freight on Lock exclusive. Pretty dope. A little off. I'm trying to fix that centering but just a cool, nice, compact EDC. There you go, check out that carbon fiber. Nice. You know, carbon fiber is one of my favorite uh, scales. Um, so, got quite a few. And of course you have different textures, different, um, yeah, I guess different textures. This one is the uh, Easy C from Monterey Bay Knives in shredded carbon fiber, satin blade, milled clip. It's a flipper, it kind of has the, the groove for grip there. And you can tell this one's got a little bit different uh, pattern on the carbon fiber. So, yeah. This one does have had a little couple of uh, some voids in it, but as you um, hold it and use it, it tends to wear off and smooth out. But it still has that little shredded look, like uh, plywood. Really like it. It's one of my favorite EDCs. Nice, awesome flipper liner lock. Just nice and sleek carry centered and minimal flipper. So let's put it down here for a second. Let's see what the light hits. There you go without my hands in the way. Pretty dope. So that's the Easy C from Monterey Bay Knives. Give one, each one about a minute or so. I got quite a few. I got fixed blades. I got a little bit of everything. So this is a Monterey Bay Knives Mini OG, Mini Old Guard, carbon fiber, satin blade, titanium backside, frame lock, Monterey Bay Knives. This one of course has raindrop carbon fiber. You can see that, nice and close. Check that out. Pretty sweet. One of my favorite uh, carbon fiber uh, scales. Very nice. This one's on Teflon washers, nice and smooth. With a thumb stud. Not drop shut, but it's very smooth. Just a nice, sturdy, very stout knife. Kind of crowned a little bit here in the back. So, very nice backspacer. So. The mini old guard and carbon fiber. Let's give it a little close up right there without my hands in the way. But you can't really see the, doesn't catch the light there. So there you go, mini OG. That's it. What else we got? Another cool gentleman carry, the quiet carry, IQ, titanium 
scales with the little portion of carbon fiber, fat carbon fiber. This one's infused with green. I'm pretty sure that's why, from what I heard, that's that's what makes it fat carbon fiber is it's infused. So I give a dance on that. Not much. The backside is all black titanium, 20 CV, kind of that modified sheep foot. And really just a cool, slender, clean little flipper for a gentleman carry, fifth pocket carry, or even in your coat pocket, it would work. So one of my favorites as well, that satin blade. Check that out a little closer. See, sorry, my hand's a little sweaty there. So minimal flipper. It's the IQ from Quiet Carry. Very nice. Uh, next up, we got a front flipper from Riot. Again, satin blade, zirconium bolster. And this one has fat carbon fiber as well with a little bit of green in it. Again, there's just variance in the carbon fiber. Backspacer, pretty thick, swedge at the tip. Some carbon fiber on the back. So not bad, zirconium, M390. Really awesome action. Ooh, check out that action. Just drops. Oof. Very nice. On bearings. So yeah, pretty sweet. Probably the one and only flip front flippers I still have. Just this so smooth and just an awesome knife. Very cool. Let's check it on the bottom. There you go. Give it a little shot right there. Nice. So that's the Riot Tribute and uh, green carbon fiber. Nice and centered. There you go. Next up, we have. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We'll show this one first. This is the Ferrum Forge Prolix collaboration with Wii. With that nice warning. Again, you got smooth carbon fiber here. Pretty smooth. Nice little clip in the back. Deep carry. Kind of like a G10 spacer. Jumping on the back. Nice EDC. Can flick it. I even use a, a hole opening in the front. Again, it's very smooth though, if you can tell. Yeah, no real grip on it, so really need the choils on this one. But again, just that it could be both a gentleman carry or just a nice classier EDC. So, Prolix, Firm Forge. Let's check it out. Very nice. Sweet. Again, hope everybody's doing good out there with all this drama going on. Let's jump into now the Kaiser Gemini, very laconical design. Here we go, milled clip. This one also has shredded carbon fiber. This one had a lot of voids in the beginning too, but again, as I started wearing, you know, Holding it and uh, pocket wear, I guess, it kind of sands away the little imperfections and it smooths out pretty nice, but look at the way that dances. Yeah, I kind of like the shredded carbon fiber as well. Slipper, nice full flat S35 EM blade. I think it's like a stone washed. There I be. Ah. So nice EDC, probably like seven and a half inches, maybe a little bigger, no deep clip. They come out with different uh, 
different ones like this. Uh, not all of them have the shredded carbon fiber. But yeah, it's a Kaiser Gemini. Nice action, nice and crisp flip. Just nice and just a good EDC. Full flat, very slicey. One of my favorites. So there you go, Gemini. Put it down here. See what it's got on its own. Check it out. Pretty sweet. There you go. Kaiser Gemini. And that's liner lock, of course. There you go. Next up, we have the TRM Atom. DLC coated blade. Actually, it's more of a, I don't know if you can tell, but it's more like the smock blade. It's kind of like, kind of a gun bluing black type of blade. This one has like a composite, like a Kevlar composite, from what I remember, infused with blue, but it is carbon fiber. And it also came in a red. So, if you want, let me know what side you like better. <laughs> Blue or red. Nice deep clip. That's it. Some uh, satin thumb studs. This one's got a little rubber you can put on there. Helps you flip it out. Liner lock. Again, super slicey blade. Check out the thinness on that one. No backspace for this one. Has uh, some posts. So real thin, really nice. One of my favorite EDCs, honestly, of all. Just nice and crisp. Love it. So that's the TRM Atom in two color carbon fiber there. Let's put it down here, show it off. There you go. Pretty sweet. Bada bing. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, no, I'll put it away. I was gonna leave it in the back, but we won't kill it. Next up, I think I saw this one last week. This is from uh, my friend Steve's. This is a, um, they call it uh, peel ply carbon fiber from Spider Co. The Gil Bradley 2. Uh, this one, I don't know if you can tell, it has a little bit, like little mounds on there, so you get a little more grip on it. So you do get the same kind of carbon fiber uh, dance, you know, the look, but you also get a nice little grip on it, which I really like on both sides. He has an aftermarket clip, Tai Chung, made in Taiwan. It's very nice too. Really dig it. And that's the Gil Bradley. Nice hollowed out blade. A little swedge up front. Really dig this knife. So I might have to go ahead and get one myself. But yeah, check that out. Very nice, nice substantial knife. You can't really choke up, but you got a whole four finger grip back here on the handle. So very nice. Some people call it the poor man Sabenza or the spider sabenza, which it kind of reminds me of, just the sturdiness of it. Very hard to get into this lock, but yeah, very smooth. You can roll it open as well. So that's the Gil Bradley 2 with the peel ply carbon fiber. There you go. Pretty sweet, M4, if I didn't mention that. There you go. So very nice steel, really good buy for, I think it's like 200, a little bit over 200 for this knife. Next up, what else we got? So now we're gonna get into some of my favorite carbon fibers. This is the marbled carbon fiber, LMAX Spyderco PM2, Freight on Lock exclusive. Showed it off a couple weeks ago. So check out that carbon fiber on this baby. Yeah, this is beautiful. 
Yep. Nice marble carbon fiber. Very, very nice. Both sides. Very nice. All the, you know, complete slab of carbon fiber. Liners, just the regular old compression lock. PM2, very smooth. One of my favorites so far and all the carbon fiber I have. And I don't even really like the PM2 too much, but again, nice four finger grip. You can choke up, jumping on the back. And of course, the spidey flicking is the best. So let's take a little look at that by itself. Very, very nice. Love it. Ooh, look at that carbon fiber. And that's the PM2 to match that. We got another PM2 in this jungle wear fat carbon fiber with green. Smoky Mountain Knife Works exclusive M4 coated. Pretty much all the same PM2 specs. Check out that green carbon fiber. Pretty sweet. Love it. Check that out. Nice. Almost looks like trees. Yeah, you can see how they infuse the green in there. Sweet. So that's the PM2 Smoky Mountain Knife Works Jungle Wear. PM2. Pretty sweet. Let's keep rocking. Got a couple more. Let's do the Manix 2. Again, Freight Unlock exclusive. Hollow Ground M4. Saber. Again, with carbon marble fiber. Or marbled carbon fiber. I always say that. But yeah, check out that. A little different than the PM2. Just very nice, beautiful slab of carbon fiber. Same thing on the back. Love the way it dances. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. One of my favorite knives of all. Ball bearing lock. There you go. Manix 2 Freight Unlock Exclusive and Marbled Carbon Fiber. And 4V Steel. That's right. Get rid of this guy. Oof. Nice. And then we also have, I got two little slip joints here. This one is a, a gift from Jersey Knife Guy with some nice carbon fiber scales on a slip joint from Three Brothers, or Brother Knives, not Three Brothers, what am I talking about? So Brother Knives, 1507, kind of sanded down bolsters, which I like. Cool little knife shield there. The nice clip point. Nice good size slip joint. There you go. Carbon fiber on both sides. And this one I really like because it has, um, well, it's all carbon fiber. And when they sanded it down, I don't know if you can tell, you get like a nice little grip on there. It's got some kind of texture. So it's really nice. So that's the Brother 1507 slip joint. Not too expensive either. I think they run about 30, 40 bucks. So very affordable if you're looking for a slip joint with carbon fiber. And then back lock, not even slip joint, I'm sorry. It's a back lock. I don't know why I said slip joint. There you go. So my bad on that, back lock. Uh, another one I recently acquired is this traditional back lock as well. It's a case, carbon fiber tribal with um very shiny bolsters which i can't stand 
And this one has like this blue infused carbon fiber on both sides. Check that out. Very nice. Sweet. Ah. See me? Yeah. Pretty sweet. Really like it. It's got that boy dent. Back lot. Uh, back lock there's the blade kind of that spear point zulu blade very nice from case and actually it's nice and centered but the only problem i have with this knife is if you guys let me know is this normal it has a lot of little back and forth play let me know that let me know if that's normal those of you that know about traditionals it's gonna go on a little longer than I thought, but there you go. It's the case, tribal, carbon fiber. Bam. Ah. So enough for that guy. What else we got? So we're gonna do some fixed joint, uh, fixed blades now. This is the LT Wright Stealth neck knife with a little chunk of carbon fiber on the handle see all the way through nice and sturdy harpoon tip and there you go nice carbon fiber and of course it comes with the sheath it even has a little carbon fiber on the other side so that's the stealth from LT Wright. Check that out. There you go. Let's go out a couple more and we'll wrap it up here. Let's see, what else? We got the Bradford Warney M390 Guardian 3. And this nice carbon fiber, 3D scale. Just an awesome little EDC knife. Fixed blade, G3. With this nice kind of fat carbon fiber. Check that out. Nice and thick scales. Very comfortable in hand. Put that down. There you go. Again, Bradford Guardian 3 and carbon fiber. Warning. Let's see here. With the Kydex and a tech lock. Last but not least, got the big brother, the Guardian 4. Here we go, Bradford Guardian 4, carbon fiber scale, 3D as well, and S30V blade. This one has a little bit thicker carbon fiber from the looks of it. Check it out. Very nice though. I want to see if somebody can get some grooves on here so I can get a little bit more grip on it. It's actually kind of smooth. Nice and thick. So that's the Guardian 4 carbon fiber, Bradford. And I think that's it. That's pretty much all I got. Ended on that guy. So just a little taste of my collection in carbon fiber. Let me know what you like best. Let me know what you have. If you like carbon fiber, if you don't, or if I said anything wrong, let me know, correct me. And as always, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, check back for more giveaways, for more knife content. And as always, y'all know where to find me. These knives. Carry your knives. And come check out more. That's it. Y'all have a good one. Stay safe out there. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Thanks for tuning in.